Statistics is a word that originated from modern Latin statisticus, meaning state affairs due to its association with the collection of economic and demographic data by states. The inauguration of statistics can be traced back to early civilization, as early as 3050 BC, wherein ancient Egyptians recorded data regarding wealth and population. Further census data was documented in China in 2300 BC, Greece in 594 BC, and in particular Rome, whose people recorded births, deaths, and comprehensively surveyed the country. The information collected during these early times formed a basis for the development of statistics to follow. The following timeline has been adapted from notable contributions and events found in Eve's A Very Brief History of Statistics written in 2002, Laplace to Recent Times written by Guruchun 2016, and Hold in 2003, A History of Probability and Statistics and Their Applications Before 1750. The beginnings of calculus of probability was undertaken by Italian mathematician Cardano in 1565, wherein he calculated the odds of winning in games of chance such as dice games and attempted to solve the problem of points. Almost 100 years later, this idea was taken up again through communications between Blaise Pascal and Pierre de Fermat concerning further developments in calculating games of chance. The year of 1654 was the official birth of probability theory. Probability and statistics are inherently linked. In fact, modern day statistical theory is derived from earlier discoveries. Data in the 17th century comprised of birth, death and trade records, taxes and credits of the population. Analysis of this data was initiated by John Grant in an attempt to understand plague mortality and economic data. In 1662, Grant provided the basis of three statistical investigations which were political arithmetic, testing the stability of statistical rations, and the calculation of expectations of life and survivorship. Following the release of this information, Petty applied Grant's method of analysis to economic data who officially coined the term political arithmetic. Nicholas Bernoulli later used this information to compare data relating to male births to estimate probability of outliers in relative data. Christian Huens utilize Grant's investigations to calculate the median and average lifespan and survivorship probability of a person at any given age in, in addition to his work on games of chance. There began the early history of life insurance mathematics backed by mortality statistics, an endeavor undertaken by the state to raise money for public purposes. James Bernoulli, Montmort, Nicholas Bernoulli, and de Morve were notable contributors to the following decade, publishing some four textbooks in as many languages, which took a number of years to be studied in depth. Lagrange and Laplace found three problems left by de Marve and continued to investigate his work. The 18th century witnessed the early beginnings of statistical theory and a systematic collection of empirical data. It began with Gottfried Aikenwall, who was a professor of philosophy at Göttingen University first employed the word statistik in German. In 1750, a mathematical theory of errors and estimation emerged. 1787, Dr. E. A. Zimmerman introduced the word statistics in English, and then in 1790, the United States' first decennial census of population occurred. The 19th century was an interesting time for statistics. 1801 saw England and France began periodic census taking. 1803, Societe des Statistiques de Paris was founded. Belgium's first census was undertaken in 1829. The Royal Statistical Society of London opened in 1834. The American Statistical Association, 1839. 1853 was the first meeting of International Statistical Congress. In the years that followed the post-Crimean War, from 1854 to 1856, Florence Nightingale analysed death rates, which led to changes in the organisation and reporting of British military statistics. A great leap happened during the following years with a large expansion in the field of statistics. All civilised countries now make continuous records of births, deaths, marriages and divorces. There is now detailed statistical information regarding production, foreign and domestic commerce, finance, public utilities, labour, agriculture, education and immigration. 